Okay. Now, some of you, it seems the comments I'm getting here, some of you are still a little confused about the whole div tag process. So I'm going to spend this entire lesson strictly talking about div tags. Div tags, div tag, div tag. Say it five times fast, okay? Div tags, which is short for division tags, is nothing more than how I divide out my content. So let's understand something. Let me get you to think the way the software thinks. Think the way HTML thinks. Div tags are just a tag. Tags are nothing more. Body tags, H tags, uh, image tags, they simply wrap content. So anything can go inside of a div tag. A div tag can go inside of a div tag. An H1 could go inside of a div tag. Content goes inside the div tag. Now, the only tag that technically never goes inside of the div tag is the body tag. The body tag is always on the page. The body tag is always on the outside. Okay? So if you just get that through your head, that anything could go inside of a div tag, of course, except the body tag. Okay? So right now, I have no CSS rules. I simply have two paragraphs. I'm going to make this first paragraph in H1 tag. You looked at previous videos, the simple, simple way, man key one, Windows control one. Of course, I can get down here with my mouse and select my header tags, H1 through six. That's not what this is about. So I'm gonna show you how to master the whole div tag understanding here. So right now, we don't have any div tags. Okay, so I can do this one of two ways. I can select the body tag because I wanna put all the content inside of a div tag. So I can come up here to layout and I can insert a div tag. Now, what we pretty much have been doing in all previous videos is we've been naming our div tags, IDing the div tags, okay? So we can come up here to insert the div tag, give it a name, or, or we could just hit Command T, Command T, and give it a name. Now, here's a bit of a problem here. Dreamweaver sometimes gets a little confused. It's inside the body tag. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to select the content. I'm not going to select the body tag. Then I'm going to command T, and I can just type in the word D-I-V. So I'm simply wrapping this inside of a D-I-V tag, div tag. I'm wrapping what? I'm wrapping the content. What content? The content that's on my page. So I can do that by then command T, or control T windows, which is the same exact thing as going up here, selecting the tag, and inserting here. Now, when you use this method, you always have something selected. Now, the advantage of using this technique, this enables you to put this someplace else. I can put this before attack, after attack, et cetera, et cetera. So this interface is also very powerful and I use it all the time. Okay, so let's undo that, Command-Z. So I've selected the content, Command-T, Control-T, Windows. I can type in div tag. So I just want to select the content from here, not select the body tag. Command-T, D-I-V. Now, if I want to give this a name, I can do that inside of here, which simply writes code. All Dreamweaver does is write code. Whether you click your mouse, whether you type from scratch, all Dreamweaver does is write code. So I can say div id equals quotation mark r a r a p p e r end quotation mark. Now you pretty much never see me do this because that's what this interface does for us. But I just want to share with you how simple it is. Anything, any tag can have ID tag. So if this is a paragraph, this would say P for paragraph ID equals whatever you want to call it. So it's the same thing. If you go to your code, you'll see I successfully wrapped this inside of the wrapper tag. Now, the advantage of command T is you don't have to go to your code and do an opening tag and closing tag. Command T does that for you. So let's understand, let's undo this again, Command Z. So I can either select the body tag, if I select the body tag, then I can simply go up here and insert a div tag. So let's insert a div tag and again call it wrapper, W-R-A-P-P-E-R. -P -P -E 
Now, I'm going to show you very, very powerful techniques working with div tags, something we haven't talked about before in previous videos. Okay, so I could go and create a rule for the wrapper tag, okay, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, these two P for paragraph tags. I'm going to hit the return key. I'm going to select these two for P for paragraph tags, and I'm simply going to insert a div tag, but I'm not going to name the div tag. I'm just going to insert a div tag. So I can do this one of two ways. I can come up here and simply hit OK. I'm not going to name the div tag. I'm just going to share a concept with you so you really get into your head how a div tag works and what a div tag is and what a div tag means. A div tag is an HTML tag, just like body, just like HTML, just like IMG, just like a DL, just like an any kind of tag in HTML, div is simply an HTML tag. What we're doing, and what most people do, is they give their div tags an ID. Therefore, they can talk to it separately by giving it IDs. So we're, we can either do this, hit the OK button, or I'm going to do the other method, Command T. I'm just going to type in DIV and hit the return key. So based on these choices, I can make it a definition list a definition term a details tag. I don't have to make it a div tag. I can make it any one of these tags when in command T Macintosh control T Windows. Simple, simple, simple. So I'm going to hit the return key. Okay, now I don't have any rules here. So without writing a rule wrapper tag. Sorry about that. I had to pause the video. A fire truck was going by. I live across from Central Park and fire trucks happen all the time. So life is tough. Just kidding. Okay. So I just want to share with you a simple, amazing concept. I'm going to come to my rules. I'm going to select the div tag, div. Now, what I want to have happen here, I'm just using, I'm just selecting that div tag to save typing. I'm going to come over here and make a rule for the div tag. Now, I don't want to create a rule for div when div is inside of a wrapper. I want to keep this extremely simple. I just want to go to tag, and I just want to create a rule for div. So let's understand something. This is a div tag, and wrapper is a div tag. So technically, we have two div tags on our page. I'm going to create a rule for div. Period, not wrapper div, just div. Okay, you with me so far? Okay, so we're gonna say div tag, div tag based in this particular case. <laughs> we're gonna make our div tag 800 pixels wide. We're gonna give our div tag 20 pixels of padding. Okay, now I'm not gonna give it a height. I just wanna share with you a concept here. I simply create a rule generically for a div tag, which means any div tag on the page is going to follow these rules. So if I hit OK, that is follow those rules. Okay, so let's double click div tag. So the only thing I did to this div tag based on these choices, I gave it a width and I gave it some padding. You with me so far? Good. Let's go to border and let's give this div tag a solid two pixel just because we can red border. So what does that do for us? That means that this div tag, which happens to be our wrapper div tag, and this div tag have the same set of rules. They both have the same set of rules because they're both div tags. Okay, so whether you put a div inside of a div, inside of a div, inside of a div, it's still just a div tag, okay? So let's do this, right? Let's go to back here for a second. Let's double click the div tag and let's just give this a gray background. This is really exciting stuff, guys, because once you comprehend what I'm about to share with you, it's child's play as far as what you can do with this. Okay, so I'm going to give a simple light gray background. Okay, so therefore, every div tag on the page, including the wrapper tag, has a gray background with a red box around it that's 900 pixels wide with X amount of padding. 
And all I did was create a rule for DIV because everything on the page, whether it's a branding tag, site nav, whatever the tag is, it's still just a div tag. The reason we give div tags IDs so we can talk to them separately. So therefore, I can make the wrapper ID different from this tag here. So I have two div tags. Let's look at our code for a second. Okay, One of the div tags has a name. Other div tag doesn't have a name. But that's incidental because they're both div tags. So watch this. I'm now going to create a rule for just simply div tag. I have nothing selected. I'm going to make this so simple. I'm just going to create a new CSS rule. I'm going to pull this down to tag. And I'm going to type in div. Div space div. Now, what is that telling us? That's simply a div tag inside of a div tag. Okay, so there's only one thing on the page that's a div inside of a div, and that's that second div tag we created. Correct? So this is what we want to do here. The div that's inside of a div, incidentally, this has to be a compound because it's a combination of more than one. You can't put multiple tags inside the tag section. So compound, combination, is more than one. So we'd have to say div space div. So I'm going to create a rule for a div when a div is inside of a div. With me? So let's do this. Okay, We're going to say change the background color to, let's make it just a different background color. Let's make a yellow color. And I don't want to have a border. I'm going to say border none. Now, don't confuse none with blank. Blank is default. Blank defaults to its parent tag, which in this particular case would be the div tag, the solo div tag. So, therefore, it follows these rules. Okay? Now, this is going to want to look really strange to have a div tag hanging out like this. So, let's do this. So let's double click div tag and say div tags width is going to be. Let's make our div tag with a percentage. This way we don't have to deal with how big the parent tag is. It doesn't matter what the parent tag is. If we deal with percentages, then this will be a percentage of the width of the parent tag. How cool is that? You with me? Cool. Okay. So this is a div inside of a div. Okay. Now, I'm just going to create a couple more paragraphs here. I'm just going to copy and paste. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, let's take this section of paragraphs. Let's make that an H1 tag. Command 1 makes it an H1 tag. Or I can make it an H2 tag and Command 2. So I'm going to take this content, this content, not the rest of the content, just this content, and put it inside of a div tag. So how do I do that? The same way I did it before, I can either come up here I can come up here to insert div tag and not give it a name. Now at this point, it doesn't matter if I give it a name or not, it's still a div tag. I'm just sharing with you a conceptual understanding of div tags. So we're going to keep this simple. We're going to say command T, which is quick tag editor, which is quick tag editor. Okay, so command T, and I can just type in D I V again. When you start typing, it brings up those tags here. So as an example, if I wanted to make this a HTML5 section tag, I can just type the word section, and it's going to pop up here. So it's simple, simple, simple stuff, guys. Command T, quick tag editor. I can assure you you're not going to see that on 90% of the videos out there because they don't get it. They never will get it. They're too crazy with typing code from scratch. And, you know, well, I'm making money because I'm using Dreamweaver. They're still trying to figure it out. Okay? So I hate to run off on a ramp, but it really upsets me that these knuckleheads out there are teaching bad technique. Slow, slow stuff. They're not taking advantage of Dreamweaver. So we're going to make this DIV. So I apologize about the rant, but I take it personally. Okay, so what do we have here? So therefore, it's going to follow the parent tag. So it's going to follow the div when the div is inside of a div. But this is a different setup here. Okay, what do we have here? This is a div when a div is inside of a div. So we can get a rule for that. So understand what's happening here. This div is inside of this div, which is inside of this div. So select the tag, select the tag, and 
make a rule. Make a rule for the select attack. In order to affect attack, we can select attack. Now at this point, again, we could basically say a div tag is inside of a div tag inside the wrapper tag, which is technically still a div tag, right? But it just happens to have a name. But we're going to keep it simple. We're going to say div space div space div. Now, how is that different than div comma div comma div? Well, that'd be silly to do that. That basically you separate it with commas to talk to different tags at the same time. As an example, h1 tag comma h2 tag comma. This method is telling you that a tag is inside of a tag inside of a tag. So I can hit OK. So I could rule for this to simply say when a div, look up here, when a div is inside of a div inside of a div, make that div tag. 80% and give that div tag, let's give that div tag the option of this color. How do I make it the option color? Well, let's select the color, select the color, go to my color wheel here, and again, I'm a Macintosh, the PC users, your wheel's a little different here, and I'm going to make this option color. In fact, I'm going to make this the darker version of the option color. So therefore, I can come to my type based on these Choices category type, and I'm going to make this white. Okay, so it's going to follow those rules. So that's simply look at my CSS rule. That's saying when I have a div tag inside of a div tag inside of a div tag, it's going to follow those rules, etc., 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 etc. It's really this simple. It's really this simple. So finally, we're going to take this other div tag at the bottom. And we're going to put that in a final div tag. Again, I can come up here to insert div tag. Again, it doesn't matter if you name it or not. But for proper formatting and to keep track of things, that's why we give div tags IDs so we don't have to do this method of a div inside of a div inside of a div. But you could use the div inside of the div method to set the default of everything. So say, as an example, when you have a div inside of a div inside of a div, you want to have 20 pixels of padding. Well, you can set that as a default for a div inside of a div. So you can set your div inside of a div generically, generically, and then make it more specific for that ID tag. Okay, so I'm just going to insert a div tag, and I'm not going to give it a name before we hit Command T. So what have I created? I've created a div inside of a div inside of a div. Okay, so hopefully at the end of this lesson, you're going to be so tired of talking about this because you'll get this. So this is simply, we're going to change wrapper to div. Now we could have kept the wrapper, but again, I just want you to comprehend that the wrapper is simply an ID tag of div. Branding is ID of div. Site and app is ID of div. The IDs are totally, totally made up names. You could have called it diaper breath. You could have called it Mustang face. You could have called it Al Pacino goes to the movies. It's simply an ID tag. Anything can have an ID. Why would it ID something? So if you had five black Nikon 300S cameras in front of you, how would you tell them apart? By the ID, by their serial number. So the reason we ID tags so we can talk to them differently. So it's really that simple. Once you cross that bridge, once you break through the logic of understanding how HTML thinks, that's what creates the rule structure for how the HTML is tagged. Okay, so let's do this final thing. So let's just say that when a div is inside of a div, inside of a div, inside of a div, let's make our box width, let's make it 50%, and let's change the background color to a color we haven't used yet with this disgusting burgundy color. And there you have it. So this is a div inside of a div inside of a div. So hopefully I won't have to repeat this lesson again because I'm all divved out. So enjoy this tutorial. Share it with your friends. Don't tell grandma because grandma likes ID tags. Grandma doesn't like div tags, not div inside of a div. She gets too div out with that stuff, okay? Please, please, please follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Don't tell grandma. I'll talk to you soon.
Thank you.